the music of FF7 Remake. An hour dedicated to the music of Final Fantasy VII Remake with all new versions of classic themes from both the Final Fantasy VII original in 1997 and the new original music written for Final Fantasy VII Remake in 2020. The Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Playing both the best original music from the game along with all new versions of the classic soundtrack themes from the Final Fantasy VII original. This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. This is Late Night Classic Gaming Themes Final Fantasy VII Final Remake Fantasy VII. Special. It's the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special of Late Night Classic Gaming Themes. It was an epic adventure that landed on the PlayStation 1 back in 1997 of unprecedented scale. It tells the story of a group of friends in the environmental terrorist group Avalanche who want to stop the dominant Shinra Corporation's use of harmful Mako energy. The adventure came on three separate discs for the PlayStation 1 and it began in the dystopian and modern city of Midgar, a city whose metropolis was mostly covered by a gigantic metal plate that obscured the sky. Although Final Fantasy VII's story began here, once the Midgar parts were complete, the adventure took place across the world of Gaia, which had multiple continents. Now, Final Fantasy VII Remake, although it should be called Remake Part 1, has come to PlayStation 4 and re-realizes the city of Midgar with incredible attention to detail. So far, the Midgar parts are the only parts of Final Fantasy VII that have been remade, and this Music Hour special will be playing some of the best pieces from the new soundtrack, which combines old favorites written by Nobuyu Uematsu back in 1997, embellishing and expanding on them and also adding some original music for the 2020 game. Let's hear what it has to offer. As the game opens, you are thrust headfirst into one of Avalanche's missions, which is to take down a Mako reactor plant. So it's appropriately called Bombing Mission. This is an embellished version of the original, which came out in 1997 for the original game and was one of the first pieces of music that you heard there. It's one of those infamous parts of a game that has a countdown timer, but half an hour wouldn't be much time in real life to do something like this. It's well enough in this game.
That's what's so great about playing the FF7 remake is that you actually get such great new versions of the themes from 997 as well as the fact that in the original realization of Final Fantasy VII's world it was just really a picture book you went around on almost static pictures and now it's been brought to life very dramatically in up to 4k resolution graphics the dystopian city of midgar has never felt so real and this is the sound of the original one for that one of the things that happens very often in final fantasy is the random battles it's very different in fo7 remake though it doesn't keep changing the scene all around you throwing you into the battle but now it takes place in the very environment that you're roaming through played the original Final Fantasy 7 you would have heard this about several thousand times not so an FF7 remake as the battles don't even change the music of the area that you're going through so the brand new 2020 version of this theme you actually only hear I think either once or just a couple of times here it is it's called let the battles begin now you just encounter your battle entities on the same screen that you're exploring, which is something they've brought in since, I think, Final Fantasy XII, which was released back in 2006 on PlayStation 2. The Final Fantasy VII Remake Out on Play 7 Soundtrack Radio. Final Fantasy show that we've done on the radio here on 107 Soundtrack Radio for a while to celebrate the release of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. At the time of this show going out, you've just been able to get Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrate on the PlayStation 5, which contains some new material around the character of Yuffie. Spoiler alert, if you haven't played the original, she steals your material. That's how it opens. So you were made public enemy number one by the Shinra Corporation because you successfully managed to blow up a Mako reactor. They only give you half an hour to do it, which is actually way enough time if you play the original. Here is the remade theme of the classic reactor theme that you'll remember from 97. Final Fantasy VII Remake was released exclusively on PlayStation 4. Other versions will eventually follow, possibly PC and of course PS5. It was released just in time to preoccupy a lot of people who would have been stuck at home if they were following the UK national lockdown amongst others. It was released on the 10th of April in 2020.
Cloud Strife, Barrett, who is a cool, very cool dude, isn't he? And um, the very attractive Tifa, and also Ares, I think, joins you slightly later to take on the entire Shinra Corporation in destroying a power plant, and they use Mako Energy, whatever that is. It damages the life stream of the planet. It's got quite a story behind it. Apparently, it cost them, originally, in the 90s, $35 million, I presume it was, to put it all together. That was the original developer called Squaresoft. They've now been merged with um, another company called Enix, if you've ever played any Dragon Quest games. I haven't. Uh, now they're known as Square Enix as a result. So the lovely Tifa, she owns a bar called Seventh Heaven, which we get to see a little bit more of in the remake, which is inside, I think, a rough and ready, but um, with a population with hearts of gold and the usual corruption and all the rest of it. A place called the Sector Seven Slums. So we're going to play the theme to Tifa, which is adapted from the original, as it would be her character theme. And then what I think is one of the best new pieces of music that, that, that they have come up with for Final Fantasy VII Remake, which plays, it seems, to play anyway in the Sector 7 slums. If you're, a, if you're a big fan, you can probably note some of the inaccuracies that I'll have on this radio show. It seems to play there, and I love it. It's called Hollow Skies. So first, we're going to play Tifa's theme, and then we're going to go into that one. And I've always thought that Nobu Yumatsu is a legendary composer, but it's not just him that is now behind some of the music in Final Fantasy, but he used to write pretty much all the game's soundtrack. Tifa comes from Cloud's hometown as well, which is Nibelheim. And she is his childhood sweetheart, so therefore yours as the player. Full name, Tifa Lockhart. And it's in a secret underground room underneath the main 7th Heaven bar, where you do your avalanche party meetings. You strangely omitted being able to go into that room from the FF7 remake, but the characters are seen going down into it. The 7th Heaven bar is located in the Sector 7 slums.
that is beautiful and this new theme is brilliant that just does play as you walk around the sector 7 slums i won't give away a spoiler if you haven't played it as to what happens um, in that area in the um, final fantasy 7 remake story and of course in the original as well this i think is one of the best new original themes we're going to be playing as many of them as i can find from the fs7 remake soundtrack in this hour it's called hollow skies It took me longer to notice this one than it did for some of the others that I'm going to play, but it kind of just hit me. What an amazing theme that plays when you are walking around the Sector 7 slums, and um, it, it's so well realised, it just has a powerful atmosphere. You can go down every alley, every single shop, and also the um, sort of makeshift places that people have put up to live. It's kind of, I mean, it is slums. They've, uh, they've, it's almost shacks, all under the cover, of course, of this metal roof. I don't think you don't even see the sky in Midgar in most of it. The city is divided into sectors as well, which, if, you know, as you might expect, it's sector seven. I think it goes one to eight, and I can't remember exactly which ones you get to go to. You at least get to go to, to number five. So this next one, both in the original theme and in the really well-realized new version of it we've now got in a Final Fantasy VII remake, this brings this slum atmosphere to life as well. It's called Under the Rotten Pizza, which I think is what Barrett calls it. This new version of it is even more immersive. Sectors go in a circle, one to eight, and they're each powered by a different macro reactor, two of which, at least during the events of Final Fantasy VII Remake, are destroyed by yours truly as the player.
so it was more synth sounding back in 1997 but still a very big range of instruments but you could hear how much simpler it fundamentally was and now by 2020 there's almost no sound that they can't use in recreating a theme We'll hear more from that, but your group, which is known as Avalanche, that's what the game's all about, actually, isn't it? The adventure. You are Avalanche. But in the original, you didn't actually have a piece of music of your own, but in 2020, there is the Avalanche theme. It couldn't sound more suitable. This is one of the new original themes just written for Final Fantasy VII Remake, not adapted from a Nobu Matsu classic. Enjoy Avalanche theme. remake story is to get to the Shinra building just like it was in the original. Along the way you meet Eris, see a beautiful house and also in the remake you get a lot more story about Biggs, Wedge and Jesse who are only just minor characters soon forgotten about in the original. In the remake Jesse gets her own theme, we'll play a bit of that when we get back as well as though the city's mostly underground you spend much of the time going through various sewers and such like a theme that first played when you explored one of midgar's many underground sewers that would even put off the teenage mutant ninja hero turtles i'm sure we'll play that theme next the final fantasy 7 remake special playing both the best original music from the game along with all new versions of the classic soundtrack themes from the Final Fantasy VII original. This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Classic game themes. The Final Fantasy VII Remake Special, playing both the best original music from the game, along with all new versions of the classic soundtrack themes from the Final Fantasy VII original. This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Classic game themes, all night, late night. The sewers under Midgar are formidable. They connect up sectors 5, 6 and 7 at the very least. And this remake of the original theme called Gloomy Cave is very faithful to it. In the remake soundtrack you are often lurking in the darkness. Funny how there's often vending machines with weapons in it and a place to rest in these places. Here's the Final Fantasy VII remake update for that music.
It's made even more delicious in the remake that has been. So with the dangerous situations that Avalanche get themselves into, what do they often have to do? They have to escape. They've updated this original theme brilliantly in the remake soundtrack. Clue is in the title. It's simply called Hurry. versus 1997 this is where this one came from Seven going head to head with 2020. That was the sound of 97. And fast forward to 2020 now. Final Fantasy VII. She accompanied you to the Maca Reactor bombing at the beginning, and that was pretty much it. I'm not going to say the reason why. <laughs> but in the remake, you even have a bit of a story together. You can call that a date. And you go around her parents' gaff. So this is one of Final Fantasy VII Remake's new original themes. Jesse's theme. Full name, Jesse Raspberry.
Oliver, which has got an FF7 remake, won't give any spoilers about what happens with these characters. With the plight of the Midgar people versus the ruthlessness of the Shinra Corporation and what they're prepared to do, without giving spoilers, they'll do anything to frame you and your group avalanche as possible. This is a sad piece of music they use in relation to something that happened with Sector 7 slums. It's called Anxiety. It's also a theme that plays in Cloud's hometown, which is Nibelheim, which is located on the next continent away from Midgar, a place that you might be able to see re-realised in a future expansion of Final Fantasy VII Remake, as they've only so far completed the part that takes place in Midgar, as you know. This gets the more orchestrated treatment that so many remakes of the original themes get in Final Fantasy VII Remake's soundtrack. passages of the Midgar city or through the extensive sewer network battling many entities along the way. It's a place known as Wall Market which is an entertainment and shopping district sometimes of ill repute. Chances are if it existed in real life you'd have no difficulty finding a PlayStation 5. I sure don't have one and therefore I haven't got the money for it anyway so can't play the Final Fantasy 7 remake Integrade but somebody, one of the dodgy dealers of War Market, would sure find you a PlayStation 5. So this is the original music that it got back in 1997. And the basis for this theme has been used in several in the remake soundtrack, but actually not as the main theme to your new version of War Market, which is again fabulously re-realised with so many parts to explore. Instead, the wall market itself has got a brand new original theme. We will, of course, be playing it for you in this hour. But first, let's play one of the pieces of music that has a take on this theme from the original. It's so techno, this version of, of, of the theme called Due Recompense, that it would make someone like Paul Oakenfold of Ibiza DJ fame proud. It plays as part of the uh, battles in the sewer networks. It's hard to describe. There's so much going on with this. It's called Due Recompense from the new soundtrack. <laughs> Soundtrack Radio. 
just like shopping malls are run by private companies. Don Caneo is the true figure behind the wall market. He runs it and he is somewhat of a criminal overlord. That takes you and your avalanche group in there to infiltrate him. With antics that involve Cloud, your main character, Cloud Strife, dressing up as a woman, taking part in battles and trying to infiltrate Don Caneo's mansion via the sewers. Don Caneo's theme music was great in the original, so let's just see how they've updated it next. But before that, when we get back after the break, what does the music that they've written as an original theme for War Market in this new remake sound like? They've called it The City That Never Sleeps. The Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Playing both the best original music from the game, along with all new versions of the classic soundtrack themes from the Final Fantasy VII original. This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Next, the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Playing both the best original music from the game, along with all new versions of the classic soundtrack themes from the Final Fantasy VII original. This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Your gameplay in Final Fantasy VII Remake takes place exclusively in Midgar, a place that's powered by eight macro reactors that your group is actually opposed to. U.S. Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, and also, at times, Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. Let's not forget Ares, because she, at this point, has been kidnapped by none other than Don Caneo. The slums. There's enough to do in Midgar itself. Eventually, you infiltrate the Shinra building by climbing up a rope towards where the corporation lives. Whilst you're exploring in Walmart, you get to listen to this new original theme for it. It's called The Town That Never Sleeps.
then you drop out of Don Caneo's mansion into the formidable Sector 6 on the city sewers and a new original theme plays. It's called Rough Waters, which is true. You've got to figure out the sluice gates to redirect the water in order to pass through this dangerous area. At one point, you almost lose any light whatsoever. It's a good job the lovely heiress and Tifa are always with you for company down there. on this show actually and uh, that was at least 40 hours next the music for the train graveyard the final fantasy 7 remake special playing both the best original music from the game along with all new versions of the classic soundtrack themes from the final fantasy 7 original this is the final fantasy 7 remake special return next <laughs> the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special Playing both the best original music from the game Along with all new versions of the classic soundtrack themes From the Final Fantasy VII Original This is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Special You don't just get around on foot, do you, on Midgard? It does seem like there's no roads uh, There is, though But there are trains and you do go on it at one point. There's a sort of metro system, and next to the Sector 7 slums is something called the Train Graveyard, where you don't have to describe what that is. It's abandoned old trains. And in the remake, they seem to bring in an element of the paranormal. There's entities that you encounter. It was only a smallish area in the original, and they've expanded on it a bit in the Final Fantasy 7 remake. And this is the new original theme they've given the area that wasn't written for the original. That's obviously called Train Graveyard.
lot of Final Fantasy games, you'll probably notice other pieces of music like this that are subtle in this way. And this is another classic like that, that Final Fantasy does so well. We're going to play just one more music theme now in this Final Fantasy VII Remake Music Hour. Your goal is to infiltrate the headquarters of the Shinra Corporation, which sits atop the city in a huge building. You can either take the stairs or bust your way in. Those were the options on the original. It always felt so much more espionage to sneak your way up the side of the building up. It was over 60 floors. The stairs just went on and on, repeating themselves. That'd be some damn good cardio if that was a real-life scenario, wouldn't it? No wonder the members of your avalanche group are so fit. This was the slightly unsettling music that looped round as you made your way up the Shinra building staircases, up the tower. It's called Infiltrating Shinra Headquarters, and you're hearing now how it's been updated for the Final Fantasy VII Remake soundtrack. It's virtually spot on to what it used to sound like. Dated from the classics that were written by Nobuyu Matsu in 1997. And you won't hear this one very often, but let's play out with it. Because it's an obvious choice for the end. The game over theme. A like for like remake it is. Thanks for listening. Your games are so saved now, it doesn't happen very often to hear this theme. But that was Unstop Final Fantasy VII. An hour dedicated to the music of Final Fantasy VII Remake. 2020. With all new versions of classic themes from both the Final Fantasy VII original in 1997 and the new original music written for Final Fantasy VII Remake in 2020. 2020. The Final Fantasy VII Remake Special. Fantasy 7 Remake Hour Idents and Production was by Michael Farry. It was a Channel 107 production for 107 Soundtrack Radio, recorded in the Cream Central Beat Studio in Mammoth.